All right, so let's um, talk about something that can be a little hard to face, but is like super important. How to know if your partner really loves you. You know, relationships can be so confusing, right? Like sometimes their actions just don't match their words and you're left kind of wondering what's actually going on. Maybe you think you've got your partner's love language down, like you're doing all the right things, but still something feels off. And, you know, sometimes the way we show love isn't exactly the way the other person receives it or vice versa. And that can um, leave both people feeling kind of unfulfilled. So how do you really know if your partner loves you or if they're just going through the motions? That's like what we're going to figure out today. There are definitely some signs, I mean, real signs that they might not care as much as you think. So let's uh, get into it and stick with me to the end, okay? Because this could save you a lot of heartache and help you figure out what's real and what's not. Okay, so first off, let's talk about how someone who loves you really wants to spend time with you. That's just a given, right? Like, they look forward to being with you, hanging out, and making memories. But um, if your partner always seems too busy, and I'm not talking about like real commitments, but constant excuses to avoid quality time, that's not great. Now, I'm not saying life doesn't get hectic. It totally does. But if it feels like they're actively avoiding you, it might mean they don't value your time together the way they should. And if that's happening a lot, maybe try setting some boundaries. Spend time with other people, focus on yourself, and just, you know, show them you're not sitting around waiting forever. That shift can um, sometimes make them rethink their behavior. Here's another thing. Love isn't just about the physical stuff. Sure, intimacy is important, but um, a real connection is about so much more than that. Someone who loves you will like want to connect with you emotionally, mentally, you know, on all levels. But if your partner seems to only care about the physical side of things and avoids deeper conversations or just like bonding beyond that, well, that's kind of telling. Without that emotional connection, it's hard to build something meaningful. So, yeah, that's something to really think about. Now, compliments, they seem small, right? But they matter, like a lot. Compliments show appreciation. They make you feel seen, valued, and loved. So if your partner barely ever compliments you, that could mean they're not as invested as you think. But okay, don't jump to conclusions just yet. Some people, you know, aren't great at expressing their feelings verbally. And on the flip side, you've got to watch out for people who use compliments as like a way to manipulate you. The key here is sincerity. Genuine love comes with heartfelt words, not flattery that feels forced or fake. Here's something a little more serious. If your partner makes you feel completely dependent on them, like you can't function without their help, that's not love. That's honestly more about control. True love is about lifting each other up, not like trapping someone or making them feel stuck. If it feels like your partner is using your dependence to meet their own needs, it's probably time to step back, set some boundaries, and focus on, you know, finding someone who supports you without taking advantage of you. Have you ever noticed that your partner only reaches out when they need something? Like, they never text or call just to say hi, but the moment they need a favor, they're all over you? Someone who loves you will want to connect just because. They'll ask about your day, share what's going on with them, and, you know, just enjoy talking to you. But if you're always the one reaching out and they're only replying when it's convenient for them, well, that's definitely something to think about. Now, let's talk about breaking up. It's hard for sure, but staying in a relationship just because you're afraid of being alone? That's not fair to anyone. If your partner seems unhappy but refuses to end things, it might be because they're more afraid of loneliness than losing you. And... Honestly, love isn't about convenience. It's about putting in the effort to make things work. If they're not willing to fight for the relationship, it's worth asking yourself if they're staying for the right reasons or just because it's easier. Okay, so here's a big one. Blaming you for everything. Relationships are supposed to be a partnership, right? Like it's about teamwork and owning up to your mistakes. But if your partner blames you for every little thing, even when it's clearly not your fault, that's not love. That's just avoidance. Someone who loves you will work through problems with you, not constantly point fingers or shift the blame. It's about accountability, not just finding someone to take the fall. And respect. Let's not forget that respect is like the foundation of any relationship. If your partner flirts with other people, crosses boundaries, or dismisses your feelings, that's a huge red flag. 
True love means valuing the relationship and respecting each other's emotions. If they're always putting themselves first or ignoring how their actions affect you, it's time to have an honest conversation about what's really going on. Effort. This one's simple, but so important. Love takes effort. It doesn't have to be like grand romantic gestures all the time, but little things matter. If your partner doesn't seem to care about making the relationship better, or they're not doing anything to show they value you, it's a sign they're not fully invested. Love isn't just about words, it's about action. And finally, let's talk about caring. A partner who truly loves you will care about your happiness. They'll want to see you smile, and they'll be there for you when things get tough. If your partner doesn't seem to care whether you're happy or sad, or if they're indifferent to how you're feeling, that's not love. Love means being there for each other, through the good times and the bad. So, yeah, there you have it. It's not always easy to recognize these signs, especially when emotions are involved, but being aware of these things can really help you make better decisions. Look, everyone expresses love differently. Totally get that. But if you're noticing a pattern here, it might be time to take a step back and reassess. Facing the truth can be hard, for sure, but it's like the first step toward finding a relationship that's real and fulfilling. All right, thanks for hanging out with me today. If this resonated with you, let me know. What do you think about these signs? And hey, if you found this helpful, don't forget to stick around for more.